Standard enthalpy changes of combustion are known accurately for many substances. You can measure delta H combustion using an open calorimeter, but if you've done it this way, you'll know it's very inaccurate. A much more accurate method uses a bomb calorimeter, like the one shown in figure 13.17. A bomb calorimeter is a closed system in which reactions take place at constant volume. No expansion work can occur, and all the energy change appears as heat, and what you're measuring is delta U rather than delta H. So after you've done the experiment in the bomb calorimeter, you need to convert delta U to delta H. Worked example 13.14 is a typical example and it involves naphthalene C10H8. You'll use equation 13.20 to make the conversion. It's the same as equation 13.19, but it applies specifically to combustion. The first step is to write the thermochemical equation for the reaction, and this has been done for you. It's very important to get the state symbols right, and notice that in this equation the state symbol of water is L, liquid. Although the combustion reaction takes place at a temperature at which water is gaseous, all of these values have been referenced to 298K, and at that temperature H2O is liquid. Now you need to work out delta M gas, and this is the difference between the number of moles of gas in the products, which is 10, minus the number of moles of gas in the reactants, which is 12. And so that comes to minus 2. It has no units. Now all you need to do is to substitute values into equation 13.20. But remember that you need to convert delta U to joules per mole from kilojoules per mole, which is the value that's been given. The answer gives delta H combustion at standard at 298K as minus 5147 kilojoules per mole. Notice that that's been turned back to kilojoules per mole at the end of the calculation. And notice that that's not a lot different from the minus 5142 kilojoules per mole of delta U. Generally, delta U and delta H values are very close at low temperatures like this one.